Log point is a sim. We receive events in real time from all of the remote systems inside our customers' networks. Firewalls, routers, printers, servers, desktops, uh, antivirus machines, you name it. Any, anywhere where a log is produced that LogPoint can receive it, we get those logs. We build them into the system. What we try to do is we try to build some intelligence around this, meaning we saw virus activity, we saw file activity, we saw a network port actually create an outbound connection that would be our batch analytics we have some intelligence in this that you're looking at right now on our dashboards other than that it's a real-time event we're getting this in real time let's drill straight in let's drill straight into a real-time event this is our search window within logpoint you can literally just click on in the last 30 minutes search That'll show you all the events that have literally just come in. This is just coming right now. This is running um, in UTC, in, in the UTC time zone. So this event has just come in, has not been processed, has not been batch analyzed to perform any other level of intelligence. In here, we can enter additional queries. I can say user, um, user, let's see if I can do user equals, and we'll just say admin, search on this. And I can just go and query where the username equals admin for that respective thing. Um, you can enter any, oh, sorry, that was my mistake there, not user plus, user equals, user equals admin, and there I found 20 logs. So 20 logs in the last 30 minutes have just come in. Literally, we're able to pick these tags, show it to you right now in real time. But as I said, there's very little analysis, there's very little intelligence around this. When we drive back into our dashboards, specifically in this dashboard, this is our threat intelligence dashboard. You can see a top 10 inbound attacks by country and top 10 outbound attacks by country. What we need to do in this situation at Logpoint is we need to correlate this information, add some geolocation, add some a different level of graph to this. That's what we refer to as our batch analytics versus real-time analytics.